Hey everybody, Josie here, and today bringing you another album review. And today's album will be Stevie Stone's Level Up. Now, this album was released today, June 2nd. Uh, I, however, received it yesterday, uh, June 1st, um, which is in fact my birthday. So, this was a birthday gift for myself, you know, really like the, the release day coincided with my birthday. Um, and uh, to, in order to get this a fair review, I've been listening to it since uh, since yesterday, since I got it, and I feel like I've listened to it enough times where I could form a proper opinion and give you a a proper review. And um, so Stevie Stone is a, another artist from Strange Music. As you can see, I'm wearing a Stevie Stone hat, so that should tell you that I am indeed a huge fan of Stevie Stone. And um, I became a fan pretty much uh, at my first uh, Tech 9 concert uh, that I attended, and this was uh, right when he got signed. Um, so his album, I, th I think it had just been released, um, and that was uh, Rolling Stone. And I really enjoyed that album. Uh, it was very energetic, you know, and um, it's always a blast just to uh, listen to it. You know, you bump your music, your stereo all the way up, you, you play that album, and it's really good, very energetic. Um, and then when I saw him live, it's like you think the album's energetic, but no, he like is it just like raises your whole uh, adrenaline. It just goes up, and you're like really excited. You know, your blood's pumping, and and I believe he was opening up the show or uh, party second up, and it's just like wow, it just gets you into the mood, right? And I was instantly instantly a fan, you know, and. Um, uh, so this is his um, what is it fourth album on Strange Music? So it was Rolling Stone, then you got Two Birds One Stone, Malta Band, and then now Level Up. So this is his for his fourth album, and um, I will say it's not as good as the first one. I think uh, the first one, uh, Rolling Stone, is probably the best one um, of the four. And that's just, like I said, it's due to the energy. Um, Two Birds, One Stone still had some of that, but it kind of uh, mellowed out a bit. It had different, uh, a few different songs that um, that honestly uh, didn't uh, jow with me too much. Um, Malta Band um, was a step up for me, but I feel like this is kind of staying at the Malta Band level. Um, it doesn't have the same energy as the first one uh, does, and... That's kind of a shame, um, but it's not bad, and I do enjoy it. Um, however, it's it's not what I would have wanted, you know. Uh, but that's okay. Um, there's plenty of good songs on here. Um, I will say I'm not a huge fan of some of the features on here, but um, but I think Stevie uh, he brings his his A game. I think. Um, uh, so like I mentioned, uh, the songs aren't as energetic as uh, with uh, Rolling Stone. Uh, they're more uh, mellow, uh, have a lot of uh, kind of R&B sort of hooks to them. And um, and that's cool because uh, Stevie Stone has a very uh, very distinct voice and uh, he sounds really good with those uh, R&B type of, uh, of hooks. Um, and I feel like that's kind of the reason why it's not my favorite album just because uh, I guess I was looking more towards uh, the energetic stuff as opposed to the mellow stuff um, but like I said it's not bad you know it's it's pretty good um, probably my favorite song on here is uh, Jacob's Ladder which is a, a mellow song you know uh, and then the, my other favorite song on here is, is uh, another level I think that one was is also pretty energetic um, but has a, like a nice uh, kind of like a mellow hook but it still has that, uh, that energy that is uh that is stevie stone um so yeah all in all i think if you're a fan of stevie stone you're gonna enjoy this album if uh if you've never heard of stevie stone um i feel like this is an okay place to start but i would if this is your first stevie stone album i would recommend you actually go back and uh get um uh rolling stone i think that one is probably the the best um uh, uh, representation of what Stevie Stone is, especially at a live concert, you know, that's kind of like the thing. Um, I will say, um, there's plenty of songs on here that I, I would like to see live. Um, unfortunately, I was, I was not able to attend the, the tour this year, so, um, 
any if any of you guys saw the tour um let me know what you guys thought of it uh how do these songs uh match up in person you know um that's pretty that's something i'm, I'm curious to see i'll probably uh youtube some videos and see how he performs some of these songs um but yeah i say uh it's a good purchase um and i'm not disappointed but i'm not over i'm not uh overwhelmed or i'm not um I'm not amazed i'm not super impressed i think i'm i got what i expected or not what i expected but um you know i'm like i guess um uh, i don't know how to describe it but yeah it's it's a uh, it's a solid album um now i did pre-order my copy like like i mentioned before i think in the beginning of the video and like with all pre-orders from strange music it came autographed by stevie stone and then it also came with a t-shirt and the t-shirt is um has the album art uh you know the microphone like stripping in gold and i will say i really like the the album art um i don't know the microphone and that gold it just it looks pretty dope and um and and it's all white and gold it just it just kind of stands out you know makes it look like high quality i guess which is kind of like the point you know um, the t-shirt itself, um, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of it, and that's, um, I guess it's due to the black, um, I, w I think it would have been better if it was, like, all white with the gold microphone on there, and the gold letters, uh, but I guess they wanted to make it a bit, um, make it a, a, a bit different, I guess if it was all white with just gold, it would probably be too simple, I, I'm guessing that's their thought process on that, but... I think uh, I don't I don't think that was the right call. I think it should have been all white. Um, but it's not bad. It's just I think white would have been better. Um, the inside of the booklet, like I've said before, um, is nothing special. You know, you got a few pictures on there, and I would have liked more of those pictures, um, more pictures of that of those of of these kinds throughout the book. You know, like a bigger book maybe. Uh, but I I pretty much given up hope given up hope on that. I feel like. It's kind of like a dying sort of thing where no one really cares about it. I guess it's just me. So, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it on this. I think uh, the next the next album to come out from Strange, Strange Music is JL's new album, which I'm really excited about that, and I'll give you a review when that one comes out. That one's coming out, uh, I believe, uh, later this this month, like on the 29th, I think. Uh, I need to check the exact date, but... It's uh, towards the end of the month, so I'm a pre-order that, and uh, I'm really excited about it. Um, and yeah, I think uh, Strange Music has been having a solid year, but so far none of the albums have like amazed me. You know, um, probably the closest thing is Ses Cruz, um, and that was um, yeah, that was the only one that I think uh, um, that impressed me all, uh, that much. Um, all of these have just been solid and nothing too impressive but i'm hoping you know with jl he brings uh brings his a game uh to his first album on strange music and uh yeah anyways uh thank you thank you guys for watching um if you guys um have you guys uh if you guys have heard the album or um if you guys bought it uh let me know what you guys think um i know this is just my opinion um i'm really curious uh what other people think about it um and yeah let me know oh and also let me know if, if you have listened to these songs any of these songs live and how they match up to um i guess to the what's on the record you know is it better live or is it better on the record yeah so so yeah thank you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye